Okay, we made it. Welcome to the last episode of Amino Acid Mondays. We're going to be covering the two that we haven't covered yet, and these are the amino acids histidine and proline. So let's start with histidine. Histidine is going to be a very important amino acid that you should probably remember. Its three-letter amino acid code is HIST, or its one letter is just H. Let's draw the structure out on the uh, right-hand side. Sorry about the H. Uh, that's really, really weird. Okay, so this guy's got a pretty funky side chain. Um, pretty important for uh, enzymes, as you'll um, see in a moment. So this is the group here. This is called um, the imidazole group. So let's write that out here. Imidazole group. Um, and basically histidine is found in a lot of um, active sites. So it is uh, positively charged at physiological pH. Um, uh, but the imidazole group tends more towards being um, a base. Um, but uh, it actually is amphoteric. So I'm going to put this here. Amphoteric. So it can behave both as an acid um, or a base. Um, and basically, this is really important because in catalytic mechanisms, um, uh, histidine can act as basically a proton shuttle. So let's put that here. So it can move a proton around, and you'll see it come up in quite a few different... Um, enzyme active sites. So I'll put this here. Okay. Um, and um, I did mention about the catalytic triad um, when talking about uh, serine, but the base in the catalytic triad is usually actually histidine. So let's put that. Cool. Um, so it's an essential amino acid for humans at least. And its codons are basically only two, just uh, CAU and CAC. Cool, let's move on to the last amino acid in this series, um, which is proline. So proline's three-letter amino acid code is super easy to remember. It's just pro, and its one letter is P. And let's draw out the kind of groovy structure that it's got, because it's a little bit different from the other amino acids. Okay. Look at that. Mind blown. It has that cool loop. Okay. So yes, it's got this uh, loop here, as you can see. It loops around and, and kind of connects to that uh, amine group on that every amino acid has. Um, I think the loop's called a uh, pyrrolidine loop, but you have to correct me if I'm wrong. I might be pronouncing that wrong. Um, but I do know for a fact this here is what's known as a secondary amine. So secondary amines basically have two R groups, and you can see here that it's got those two R groups there. So that's pretty cool. If you want a fun fact about proline is actually um, trypsin. Um, now trypsin um, cuts at C-terminal lysines or arginines, but if you um, have a, a C-terminal bound proline, the enzyme won't actually cut there. So you can use it, you can use pro proline to basically say no to trypsin. So um, we'll just put a sad face next to trypsin and put an X. It's a weird X, there you go. Um, and it's an, it's an non-essential amino acid. Put that there. And its codons are the carbon copy codons. So we've got CCU, CCC, CCA, and CCG. And that's all I'm going to say about proline.